Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 3rd. It is a beautiful fall day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Pretty chilly this morning. Actually getting up to 80 degrees today. So uh, Indian summer perhaps. Uh, oh, you're probably not allowed to say that anymore. Oh, hold on. I am smoking some haunted bookshop in my J. Mouton um, pork bill, I guess. Wonderful pipe. I uh, I really have grown to 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 uh, love this pipe. Not that I didn't love it initially, but it's you know as as you smoke it more and more, it becomes more a part of you and. And Jason just does such good work. And as a as a added benefit to this one, my buddy Couch has the twin of this, and he was smoking it yesterday. He sent me a picture, so I was, thought, yeah, that's going to be my Sunday pipe. So I am having a monumentally lazy day today. I uh, I slept in about an hour, uh, which you know doesn't sound that bad, and I get up pretty early, so you know, oh, I got up at seven instead of six. But uh, for me, it's odd, and I had a pretty big day yesterday, um, which I'll tell you about. And t I've decided today that I'm just going to take it easy because it's just been nonstop for so long and everything, and it's quiet. Uh, my wife is in Pittsburgh. Uh, not that I don't love having her around, but when she's not here, it just like everything kind of calms down and goes quiet because there's nobody moving around and the dogs sleep and you know just me so i'm taking advantage of that today i'm just kind of uh i, I made coffee i i lit up a pipe and i read for about an hour this morning uh which is quite unusual for me and uh still having some eight o'clock coffee here and haven't had any breakfast yet or anything but we'll 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 figure that out we're uh we're, we're bachelors i used to have two male dogs uh buckley and george buckley was a beagle and george was a lab mix and when my wife would go away i would always joke that we were going to have a bachelor week you know that but now i got two girl dogs thatcher and isabel so I don't know, you know, do I have to call it a bachelor and bachelorette week? And that kind of feels weird. So anyway, I'm having a bachelor week. <laughs> and you all know that within 24 hours, I'm going to be missing her terribly. So she left yesterday and... I went to the movies. I uh, I went with a, a friend of mine from high school, uh, dear friend. You know, I stayed in touch with him, been friends forever, and uh, but I haven't seen him. You know, I've talked to him on the phone. We we traded text messages and all that kind of nonsense that people do these days. But we haven't uh, actually physically face to face seen one another uh, for probably about two years uh, because COVID nonsense and all. Anyway, um, he's a big movie fan, horror fan. Actually, um, his college degree is in, I don't know what it's actually in, but he, he wanted to be a filmmaker. Uh, he is a filmmaker, actually. I shouldn't say wanted to be. Uh, he is a filmmaker. And so he went for, I think it was called RTF at the time, Radio, Television, and Film, something like that. Uh, so he knows a lot about cinematography and, and, and things like that that I don't you know I watch movies from the point of view of a somebody that likes to watch movies <laughs> he watches movies from the point of view of somebody that likes to make movies so it, it's it's a very different experience to watch a movie with him and you know to hear him give his, his input on it anyway we we went to see this re-release well, it's not really a re-release but special playing of uh, Dracula 31 and Frankenstein 31. So these are the original, uh, the Bela Lugosi Dracula and the uh, Boris Karloff uh, Frankenstein. 
first movies, both made in 1931. Beautiful prints. Uh, they, they just, they looked really good on the, on the big screen. And, you know, this was the first time I've ever had a chance to see them on the big screen. It's the 90th anniversary of those films. Really remarkable. And, you know, it, it's, I, I like Frankenstein. It's not my favorite Universal movie, but it is very high on the list. Dracula, I like Dracula. I, I, I love Lugosi and Dracula. I like to watch the movie, but it's not a great movie, really, when you, when you, when you really sort of, when you put it side by side with Frankenstein, it kind of falls short, but it was wonderful to see them uh, the way that folks would have seen them in 1931. Although in much more comfy chairs. Um, and, you know, it was a blessing and a curse to be there with my buddy because he just can't resist leaning over and saying, did you see how they framed that shot? You know, why, why, why are they still showing the back of his head? You know, things like that. And, and he knows a lot of Hollywood history as well. So he's like telling me things about the actors and all that that I didn't know. But at the same time, I just wanted to immerse myself in these movies, you know, and so I, w I wouldn't trade the experience for anything. And I, I'm not in any way saying that I didn't a thousand percent enjoy his company, but I kind of wish I went alone. You know, part of me kind of wishes that I went alone, but I learned a lot and I really enjoyed it. It was it was so much fun. Uh, they they also build it as a Universal Studios tour where they were going to look at the original sound stages. Of course, the original sound stages aren't there anymore. They burned down in the 60s at some point, and they've been rebuilt. So what they actually showed was the rebuilt. And they were upfront about it, but, you know, that wasn't worth paying for. <laughs> it was basically an advertisement for the Universal Studios tour, which is excellent if you're ever in... Uh, in the area. It's it's definitely worth doing if you're a movie buff. So we did that. We we went out and we got some some uh dinner. Uh the movie start started at one. I think we we're out of there by three thirty. So we wound up at this this diner at four o'clock and, and they give us the early bird special menu and I said, Well, we're finally old. <laughs> But yeah, we had uh, we had some food and chatted, and then probably talked for about another hour, uh, just sitting in the car, uh, and then went our separate ways. I came home and uh, started my bachelor week because my wife was gone at that point. Now it's there's a little bit of comedy involved in why she went, and there's multiple reasons why she went. She's got to do some things there. She's got to see her parents. I mean that that's a big one, but. She, she's going to help them do some stuff. She's got a friend that needs some help with some. So she's got a lot of reasons to go. But her the thing that got her out the door, I love her. She said, if you're going to sit in a packed theater full of people, you're going to get sick. And I don't want to get sick. So I'm not leaving and not coming back until a week where we'll know whether or not you're sick. And I assured her that... You know, theaters have lots of air going through them, and it's you know not that big of a deal. They're not going to pack us in like sardines. You know, we've probably been in worse situations going to restaurants and things like that. This is not, but she's, and she's not one of these people that you know, I got to put on four masks and and that kind of stuff. You know, she's not she's not like that. But she just she worries. She's got diabetes. So she does have some risk factors that. And nobody wants to get this. I mean, we know folks that got it. It's not fun, right? So I'm not in any way belittling what could happen. Um, but I just thought it was a relatively safe thing to do. I didn't think there was a huge risk involved. And she looked at it as if I was, well, <laughs> she thought it was a sure thing. Anyway, so she's out of town to avoid my cooties. And the reason it's comical to me is that there were only 12 other people in the theater. It was this big IMAX theater. There, there was me, my friend, and 12 other people, and we were all spread out. 
<sighs> it's a shame. I wish I wish it would have gotten more people because I'd like to see this be successful. Yeah, I'd like to see other uh, Universal Classics come back to the big screen, or especially around Halloween. That'd be great. But if you only get 14 people in a theater, I don't know. They're doing another showing at the end of October, I think just before Halloween, and that's going to be The Wolfman and The Invisible Man. Um, and I'm on the fence about that one. I probably should because I'm such a fan of, of Lon Chaney and you know seeing the Wolfman. I, the Invisible Man, I, I don't. It's a it's a fine movie. I I enjoy it, but it's just not. If it was just the Invisible Man, I wouldn't go. There's there's no way I would I would uh, just take the time to to go and see that on the big screen because I've I've seen it enough and I don't I don't have any deep love for that film. Although it is a fine movie. So it was really good to reconnect with my friend. Uh, like I said, we well, we went to high school together, and then we ultimately wound up in college together. Although I was a science major, and he was a um, I guess you'd say liberal arts major, but we did cross paths quite a bit. And I actually was I think I've told you this before. I was a theater major for a year. Um, partly his influence, by the way. Uh, so we, we, we actually wound up hanging out a lot together, and I got to a point where I was attending more of his classes than my classes. Uh, they were, they interested me. You know, I just, I was really interested in some of the stuff that, that they were doing. And uh, he came to a few of mine, uh, not, the, not the hardcore science ones, but I took some electives and things like linguistics. Uh, yeah, those were good days. We, we, uh, we enjoyed ourselves. Oh, by the way, he's the best man at my wedding. Did I just do like a major flash thing there? It seemed like there was a big flare on the screen. Oh, sorry if I did. Yeah, he was the best man at our wedding. I forgot to mention that. So I've known him a long time, and he's, he's, he's a dear friend. And it was just great to reconnect with him. You know, even, even though most of the conversation was about the Universal movies, it was just it was good to see him. We get, we, we, we get, what's the word I'm looking for, desensitized or jaded to what a friend is these days because the, the word is used so loosely. You know, I think everyone watching this video by modern standards is a friend. And many of you, I would say, are, are dear friends, you know, close friends. Uh, people that I talk to frequently, people that I am, am happy and, and glad to have in my life. I'm glad to have you all in my life, but I've made a connection with those people. And then there's a very few where, you know, we've met personally, you know, in, in person, or we've, uh, we've talked enough that someday we're going to meet in person and, you know, it's not going to be awkward. It's just going to be, hey, how you been? And, you know, we'll move on. There's a few like that. And those are, are true friends that, you know, are similar to this guy who I've known so long. You don't get many of those. You really don't. And, and it's, it's a real blessing when you find one. And I think it's unfortunate that we, we don't have a better word for that. Not that it's not good to have a lot of friends, you know, you think kids today, kids, 19, 20 year olds, whatever, you know, the, the clubbing set, they think everybody's their friend. And they're not. But, you know, it's good to have a big social circle and, and all that. I get it. But there should be a word to describe that close connection you have with someone. And there's not, at least not one that I can think of. Anyway, got off into a bit of a ramble there.
I'm sure you all don't mind. So today, what is on the docket for today? I am not going to do a whole heck of a lot because I've been so busy and I'm just enjoying the quiet. I am going to make myself some breakfast slash brunch. I'm thinking about making a trip to the Asian grocery store. Uh, we have a really nice Asian grocery store here, not too far away from me. Pretty close to where I buy my cigars for the roadway rambles when I do them. Um, they have a huge fish market, and I, I don't know anything about it. Like, I don't know if it's good or not. I, I But I've been wanting to check that out and get some fish there and try it. Um, and I like some fish that my wife doesn't like. Like, I like mackerel, and she, she, doesn't, she doesn't like the stronger fish. She loves salmon. I don't like salmon. So I was thinking about going there, getting some fish, and bringing it home and cooking it for dinner tonight. That's my big plan for the day. I'm going to go buy fish. Uh, if I can get that accomplished, I will consider today a success. And it's back to the breach tomorrow. Uh, at an 8 o'clock meeting. Life rolls on. I may actually go into work for a bit tomorrow. I'm definitely going in on Thursday. I haven't hit a Wednesday in a while. I, I would like to do a Wednesday roadway ramble, but it, and the day is when it's like Thursday, I could do it, but I have to remember to take the camera and everything. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be there Thursday, and I might, might go in for like a half day tomorrow. It's funny, it's, it's really out of my hands in a sense, because if I've got an 8 o'clock meeting, you know, i got to get up really early to get all the things done that I like to do in the morning, and then get to work by 8 o'clock. And sometimes that 8 o'clock meeting butts up against the 9 o'clock and a 10 o'clock. So I can take those from home, but then, you know, I'm going to drive in just to eat lunch. It doesn't, that doesn't make a lot of sense, so work from home, eat lunch, and then by the time lunch is passed, got a commute time. You know, I could go, but I can get more done here. So it, it's really kind of out of my hands. My schedule dictates when I can go in. There are sometimes meetings that require my presence, and I, I, I do often, like that's what Thursday is, so that's why I'm going in on Thursday. Um, but sometimes there's just days where I don't have a lot to do and I'll go then just because I like to see the people I like to catch up on what's going on in the labs and stuff so yeah it's not really up to me anyway you're now up to date on my uh, theatrical adventures of this weekend <laughs> my my lack of plans for Sunday uh, and my work plans for the week so I hope you didn't find this too boring it's always good to talk with you. I enjoy it greatly. And I guess we'll wrap this up. I'll try to do something on Wednesday. I haven't been really good at that, uh, but we'll see how it goes. I will be back on Friday with a, with a live stream. Uh, so tune in for that if you can, 8.30 on Friday. Uh, not 8.30. It's been 8 o'clock forever. Why did I say 8.30? 8 o'clock on Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh... Yeah, and enjoy your Sunday and have a fantastic week ahead. Until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.